Now you're good. Walk in a straight line, hold the leash loose. Let go of it. Just hold the end and walk. Walk. Go the other way. Walk. Keep walking. Every time that dog goes to somebody, go in the opposite direction. Walk. Turn. Turn. Say nothing until I tell you to. Turn. Turn. Stop. To this dog, everything else is relevant. You understand? Randy, you got the dog. I want you to tell me how many hours she spent in your house on the first day. None? Okay, good. And then what after that? How long before she became a full family member? She's pretty much um, outside all the okay, time good. until uh, and then and then in the garage. All right. Does she get walks? Yes. Good. Does she get car rides? Yes. Okay, good. Um, when that's going on, how much training does she get on a given day? And I think you're just starting to learn how to train. You just got to start a couple of weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. About a month. Yeah, yeah, I remember. She's a lot calmer. All right. Now I'm going to show you something. Come here. Sit. automatically I pushed her bum down and what happened? Yeah, so correlate the pushing forward and the trying to make her look bigger. As I said earlier, if a dog learns to be dominant or tries to be dominant and then we're going to train it, what will it do? Cause a conflict. She's a good dog. This isn't working, is it, Randy? <laughs> so let's go back to just having some dinner and some coffee. Come on. Come here. Oh, please. Oh, I know, Ektra. It's such a cruel world. <laughs> Action. But look how she looks back to you, which is a good thing. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, too, that this dog was rescued, so there is a little bit of baggage that goes with that. You know what I mean? It's not bad stuff. He's a good dog. Okay. Come. Oh, wow. Nice, eh? Yeah. This way. Ah. This way. I'm just going to try something. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> she should just pitch it because it's too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See that? <laughs> so if I'm just going to step into a dog and it's suddenly forward in that first time that I ever met it, what makes you think I'm going to start pushing his butt down and sit and down and stay? What do you think could happen? Yeah, you'll bite This dog could learn that upon meeting new people, it's going to get pushed and it'll bite. You understand? <laughs> Just by, by you pushing it in the first move. Come on. So just relax now. Good girl. Good. Come. Now this is a nice little thing to do sometimes. Is that if you had a family member, you would get the effect of the dog pulling towards that family member. What is the safest distraction? Randy. She's not going to bite Randy. If she jumps up on Randy, is Randy going to jump 10 feet in the air and scream? No. No. <laughs> That's hard to imagine, but I'd like to watch it. Right? <laughs> Come on. All right. Take the lead, do the same thing. Nice and easy. We'll start with that. Okay? 
and we'll go through the whole progression. All right? Okay, only hold the end of the lead and watch. Just watch. Just watch. Relax. Sunday afternoon on the beach, Randy. Good girl. When she looks at you, when she's beside you, pet her. Just like that. Okay, listen to me. You're going to get two or three steps of animated walking. Did you see it? Pet that dog when that's happening. Okay? She'll look at you. She'll walk like she's on cloud nine. It's coming. Not yet. Turn. Not yet. Not yet. Turn. Now. You had it. Just a little bit. Go. There it goes again. <laughs> Good girl. That's it. That's it. That's it. Turn. It's all in the timing, eh, guys? Mm. You have to be aware. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Stop. <laughs> Pull the lead a little bit closer to you. To step forward. Praise. Praise her. Now take two steps forward and stop. Good. Turn and walk away. Good. Turn. Oh, there you go. You see, here's the thing that I'm trying to show you. Randy is not using food to get her to do this. He's getting her to think where the food is, and he's going through the actions and then rewarding. That's the difference. You understand? So much better. Like I said, it absolutely is not necessary to use anything less than a buckle collar and a lead. The best tool for your dog in control is your own discipline and demeanor, nothing else. Sam, in, in order, I, I take a lot of obedience classes, and the first thing they tell you to do is you got to talk to your dog to get him to watch you. You don't subscribe to that. I get annoyed because... I only subscribe to talking to a dog that looks at me. Yes. Well, and I have a saying, and it's a very famous one to my class students. Your dog will look at you when you are worth looking at. Period. <laughs> If I got to sit there and say, look at me, focus on me, look at my nose and do this, what do I look like? Some begging halfway. <laughs> so here is, I'm not going to teach you guys nothing. Everybody, please look at me. Please hurry up, pay attention to me. Come on, it's important. Hurry up. Now, look, you started rolling your eyes. Okay? Keep going, Randy. Keep walking. Walk. You're in control. Going. Where's your brother, Ryan? I don't know. He's in the store. Is he? Good. Keep going. Now stop again. Now show the lead when you stop. So here's what I want you to do. First time with us. Oh, what? What? What are you doing? Out. Out! Fifteen. Yeah. Um. Um. You understand? And then you get it in nice and short, and then you start like this. acceptance of who I am based on my actions and body language. You're not knowing how to let this dog regulate anything. I kept moving, I kept pulling it away, 
but not by my arms, by what? My action. That's right, here. Okay, you see, Randy, don't fall on the dog. Okay? You get it? Come on. Good girl. That's why right heel. Good girl, leave it. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. She's a lot better than she was, I will say that. Is this the one that would pull you down face first, Denise? I think she was. Okay, do you see how I move? I'm constantly moving. Over, 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 sit. Good. Come. Good. Good. Leave it, get out of there. Heel. Okay, are my dogs in the rack? Mm -hmm. Technically they're not. But they don't get right into it, they're moving. Okay? Who? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was great. Okay, you see how you have to keep that lead and everything beside you. Talk to her. There, up, there it is, you had it. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Go. You're not praising. Training is pressure. Teach the dog that even though there is pressure, you are still that innate piece of wood that is absolutely happy. No matter what happens. Okay? Understand that you train in a realm of not how quiet it is, but how quick you may have to move or push a dog in the event of something bad. That's what people don't do. They go from, heel, sit, it's Sunday morning, man, I don't want to do this, to, oh my God, heel, sit, stay, on the city sidewalk, they go to two extremes. Don't do this. Nice and easy, at all times, but firm and dry. You see what you're getting now? Sit. Good, heel. Turn. Sit. Again, come towards me. Sit. Walk away. Good. Come back here. Every two steps, sit. Sit. Come closer. Sit. Walk away. What's she trying to do? Who is trying to indulge in the stimuli before the handler? She's getting ahead. Right. Don't let her, Randy. Turn. Sit. Forward. Sit. 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 Length of line. Drop. Walk away. Say come. Come. Good. Keep going. Turn left. Several sharp lefts in a small circle, please. Throw your right leg into the dog, which means you're doing this. Left. That's it. Left. Put that right leg out. Keep doing it. Good. Stop. Breathe. Wait it out. You know what, Doug? You're only going to be here for five years, so mm -hmm. your life's a lot shorter than ours. <laughs> Turn to the right. Stop. Turn to the right again. Stop. Turn to the left. You get busy yet, Randy? <laughs> Good, stop. Good place! Go. Let's go, girls. Walk with me. Keep going, Randy. This way, straight at me. Good. If a dog stops to sniff everything, where did the dog learn this? Yeah, it's the only reason why it knows how to behave this way. Okay, keep going. Let's work her a little bit more. Now I'm going to ask you something. Is this dog tired? Do you think? Yes. Getting tired, isn't it? Yeah. How far did Randy walk? Fifty miles? No. Maybe it's the pressure. Pressure. Yeah, having to concentrate in a quiet, subtle room does far more, like your backyard or the driveway, for the first two weeks than you would to go out walking in a park. 
Just for two weeks. We get to the next levels as we go. Keep going. Wait till you see the next one. <laughs> because we've added a SIP, we add a thing called a territorial line approach. Which once we work with this hog, we'll bring another one in, but we'll take a quick break. Good? There you go. Did you see when she looked at you? What did you say to her? I didn't say nothing. Right. So how is she supposed to know how to behave? Right. The number one thing you got to have is a dog that sits still and looks at you or you've got nothing. After all, can you imagine walking down the road and you don't have anybody that, that you're supposed to be with that doesn't even look at you? What do you got? <coughs> nothing. Turn. Stop. Now what you will find is that as soon as you start to add to work, you put the pressure on the dog's bad behavior will increase. Why? That's how the dog knows to control you. This is why you don't keep the dog beside you all the time in the beginning phases of training. Because you have bad habits of being controlled by the dog. So